It was an accident. What, you accidentally invited Pol Pot and Myra Hindley to stay in my flat? Look, it's only until the air strike's over. Anyway, he is me brother. I know. Why don't we put a mattress under the stairs for Saddam Hussein? He's probably waiting for the Malaga flight, too. <laughs> you had your niece to stay. Frankly, Tony, you don't turn down a 17-year-old girl guide with buttocks like a racehorse. <laughs> You would have if you'd heard her calling your sad uncle Big Ears. <laughs> anyway, it hasn't been easy for me, sleeping on the sofa. I keep waking up in the night thinking I'm sleeping with a woman with a huge back. Can we get on with it, please? Yes. The next item is the... plumbing. How much water do they need in a bath? It's because you only ever take a bath when your pants start to reject your body. Bodies have a natural odour. Not like a rotten carcass at a cheese festival. I'll tell you what I've discovered. If you turn your pants inside out, you can wear them twice as long. <laughs> it's like having two pairs of pants. Thanks for sharing that with us, Tony. It's OK. Well, I can't afford to do the plumbing. It'll have to wait. I'm sorry, Deborah, but your duties as a leaseholder clearly... No, I'm sorry. I do all the gardening. Your scabby geraniums hardly constitute the hanging gardens of Babylon, do they? Why? Leave her alone. She does her best. I haven't got a boyfriend to help her, have you? If you feel so supportive, you can lend me the money. He hasn't paid me any rent yet. Well, you said I could have this month off if I decorated my bedroom. I didn't mean putting tinsel around the window. <laughs> Just relax, Gary. I'm perfectly relaxed. Will you stop using all my bloody water?! Oh, God, it's not enough that they were at it all last night like a couple of whippets. Now they're trying to set up a national sperm bank in my bath. Well, at least he's not doing an impression of someone trying to force a slinky into a buttonhole. I've been tense! Thank you for chairing such a delightful house meeting. Wait a minute, we haven't discussed who's going to paint the house number on the dustbin yet. Yeah, I'm going home too. I'll see you tomorrow when the veins aren't standing out on your forehead. <laughs> I wasn't irritable, was I? <laughs> Any toast on the go? No. Any cereal? On a mantelpiece. You got any orange juice? Run out. You getting any delivered? <laughs> Hey, so, remember when we were kids and we emptied the hamster cage into the milk and Dad had to get his stomach pumped? <laughs> <laughs> Got his own back, though, telling us the real parents were Welsh. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but do you ever have any food in your fridge? Not since you arrived, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, look, don't stand on ceremony. Mate. Would you pop her over the cooker and chuck one up her? <laughs> Gary! <laughs> There's something wrong with your plumbing. Yeah, yeah, I was just uh, gonna... Oh, um, Gary, I'm not being funny, but you've got, like, really dirty hair. Thank you. <laughs> Has he gone in the bathroom? Yeah, do you want to use it? No, 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 no. no not Bless him. <laughs> uh, it was, like, really funny yesterday. We were hanging round the airport and John goes into this sock shop and says, Here, do you sell socks? <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Hey, Remember when Mum was driving us and we opened the window and shouted out we'd been kidnapped and the police made us stop at this roadblock and spend the night in the station? <laughs> 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 hey, strike's still on. Looks like we'll have to stay a few more days. Oh, I think Gary might have something to say about that, mate. Oh. Is he all right? I mean, we was in the bathroom this morning. I thought I heard him screaming. Dad! What's the weather like over there? We're all just a bit stressed out at the moment, mate. Oh. Here, Johnny, know anybody who can use four free tickets to Spain and he dad's friends can't make it? Fancy a trip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fair dues. Oh, you were letting me and man stay here, weren't you? Yeah, thanks. Great. So you reckon uh, Gary's losing his rag, do you? 
Oh, no, 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 no. No, in fact, he was just saying last night how nice it is to have people to stay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolute bastards. <laughs> Wrong. Oh, no, George, I enjoy having to use the public toilet because the Antichrist and her cretinous boyfriend have taken over my bathroom. I'm not a great fan of public conveniences. I've never got on with paper towels. <laughs> I don't know, George, where else do you get to meet four drooling winos and a middle-aged homosexual called Brian before nine? Uh, don't tell me. It's Wolverhampton, isn't it? You look awful, Anthea. Well, I've been having trouble sleeping recently. Oh, really? Yeah, you want to try sleeping next door to Mandy when she's having sex with John? If I hear her say, I haven't finished yet, once more, I'm going to rip my head off. Haven't finished what? Reading Anne of Green Gables. It's not surprising that I'm not... I mean, just because right. George looks like compost in a cardigan... It's like a Fellini film in here, isn't it? I mean, all we need now is for a hideously deformed dwarf to come in through the door and say, hello, I'm Colin, the new accountant. <laughs> this is my best cardigan. <laughs> Anthony, there are two Fs in professional. I, I don't think there are. There are if I say there are. I think maybe you need a holiday. George, I'm hemorrhaging money through my plumbing system and I may have to buy an expensive machine gun soon to kill my new lodgers. I can't afford a holiday. <laughs> Marjorie and I can put you in touch with someone with an igloo tent. Thank you, George. Thank you. That's about as tempting as botulism. You see, there's only one F. Well, then the dictionary was obviously written by a Mexican. You're so arrogant. Just go and retype the bloody letter, Anthea. No. Go to your room, Anthea. <laughs> no. I've had enough. I'm leaving. I can't talk long. I'm, I'm just off to work. How's it going? Oh, cutting back on staff. I have to run around getting hot and irritated. Do you want me to roll some antiperspirant on for you? No. I know what you need. Oh, I have told you a hundred times, Tony, you are not doing my bikini line. No. <laughs> Have you been taking drugs? No, we need a break in the sun. And Mandy says we can use her parents' villa in Spain. Her dad will fly us out there for free. Is he a pilot? No, he's a plumber. What's the catch? There isn't one. What about you? Well, I'll be going with you, obviously. Ah, no. But why? Look, Deb, you can do your own bikini line, no problem. That was just me conforming to an outmoded sexual stereotype thrust upon me by contemporary culture. Is that the same as being a total jerk? <laughs> right. Teach me to be a more mature person. Incidentally, thongs are really popular in Spain this year. See? There you go again. Yeah, sorry. You'll only get disappointed when I refuse to sleep with you. <laughs> I won't. Yeah, hot weather always turns people into panting sex maniacs. Well, you can always go indoors and sit by the fridge. <laughs> I meant you. <laughs> I don't trust you on your own. Look, we can take Gary and Dorothy with us. Oh, come on, all that sun, sand and sea. Hey, you get to see Gary's birthmark. It's shaped like a woman riding a chicken. Only smaller, obviously. Well, tell them now. We'll be here all night. Oh, I'm just trying to work out how to tell them diplomatically. Well, you and your famous diplomacy. What was it you said at your uncle's funeral? Never mind, Auntie. At least you'll be able to stretch out in the bed now. <laughs> Maybe the airstrike will be over by tomorrow. If you hate them so much, don't have to go to a hotel. You're right. I've got to get a grip of myself. I was really rude to Anthea this afternoon. You're always really rude to Anthea. No, it was worse this time. Oh, ah, I compared her to a hideously deformed dwarf. Which is stupid, because she's average height. <laughs> Surprised you didn't storm out. Oh, she did. I had to send George after her, but he got confused at a pelican crossing and she gave him a slip. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Gary? Mm. 
John scratched one of your Barry White records today. <laughs> what? Yeah, apparently he was cutting his nails with a Stanley knife and it just went through. <laughs> Don't worry. You can still play Mama Mama Gonna Sex You Up. <laughs> Just a huge jump in the middle of Lay Down Next to Me and let me give him a big love thing. Come out here, please. <laughs> I'm gonna count the ten and then I'm gonna fire upon the door! What is it? And your gentleman friend, please. Johnny. <coughs> What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry? Barry's face looks like it's been under a train and you're sorry? Oh, it's only scratched the surface of the record. Yeah, that's where the needle goes, you silly bitch. <laughs> hey, hang on a minute. Look, I welcome you to my home. You instantly run up a telephone bill of literally thousands of pounds. You squat in my bathroom. You spend all day ratting each other senses. You have to be the two most depressing and ugly people I've ever had under this roof. That's, like, really rude. Oh, when you say, like, really rude, do you mean it's similar to really rude or you're just being working class? Crappy flat anyway. Yeah, well, it'll be considerably less crappy when you and your crappy, witless bint have got out of it, mate! So, can we go now that you've hit on your lucky diplomatic formula? <laughs> Look, if I hate someone, I tell them. You probably think I'm a prig. Close. Whee! What's do that for? You're hysterical. No, you're just really happy. Oh, sorry. Listen, Mandy says we can use her parents' villa in Spain and her dad will fly us all out there for free. Damn. Anything the matter? Oh, no, everything's lovely. Problem is, we've got to be really nice to her, because she might change her mind, you know, she's funny like that. <laughs> Do you excuse me a minute? Just got to talk to uh, John Owen Mand. <laughs> Hello. I bought you some towels, they're lovely and fluffy. We're going to an hotel. Why? You called her a crappy witless bint. Did I? Well, that's part of the course round here. I mean, if Mother Teresa popped in, we'd probably call her a stoke-faced old baggage, really. We know when we're not wanted. No, it was a misunderstanding. Hang on. I've made you some tea and little sandwiches. <laughs> Haven't you got any cheese and pickle? No, but I can make some. No, you're all right. Oh. I suppose I've been a bit on edge lately. You know, what with the plumbing not working properly and everything. Oh, I'll have a look at that for you. I like mucking around in water. Oh, oh, marvellous. Great, yeah. OK. We'll stay. Ah. <laughs> but I think you should apologise first. Absolutely. Sorry. Pardon? Sorry. I can't quite hear you. I'm sorry. There. That wasn't too difficult, was it? <laughs> Tony, it's raining. I'm just getting in the already mood. Hey, hey, look what I bought. Twister. <laughs> I thought we could play it while we're sunbathing. You know, with the uh, oil and all that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, look. Photos of Mandy's parents' villa. Looks like Mandy and John in your bath. Oh, yeah. What's Mandy sitting on? John. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Mm. Oh, Mandy's dad must have a bob or two. Yeah, it's the 24-hour plumbing business. £100 a call-out. 
200 if he opens his tool bag. <laughs> Seriously, Deb, there's no reason why we can't try again, is there? Oh, shut up, Tony. I'm more sensitive than you know. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, you let me, like, snog you. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no. Yeah? No, you're joking me. No. <laughs> anyway, Dad, I've phoned because we've got a little leak. I've solved your problem. Yeah. What you need is a plumber. Oh. <laughs> you said you'd done an exam. Didn't pass. Oh. Dad says try banging it with a spanner. John, you're getting wet spots all over your shirts. Wet spots on his shirt? My hall looks like Atlantis. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. Johnny, would you like one of my shirts? What am I thinking of? Have all my shirts. <laughs> Mandy, could you see your way clear to turning off the water main, which is outside the back door? I ain't got my shoes on. Oh, fuff. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. Johnny, how about if I hold the gushing pipe and you go and turn off the water main? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it. Right then, can I make you a cup of tea? <laughs> so you definitely rang her then? Who's that? Anthea. So I left a message on her answer phone. What did you say? I left a message on her answer phone. <laughs> what did you say in your message, George? I said that you were sorry and you promised to buy her a new stapler and restore her salary to the 1989 level. You don't think that was too generous, do you? Well, I doubt if she'll come back anyway. You broke that poor woman's spirit. What's that smell? That's me. The water tank emptied itself into my laundry bag. I pulled out a shirt this morning and there was a decomposing barn owl in one of the sleeves. So your guests are finally getting on a plane then? Oh, yeah. Tonight. I can't tell you, George, how hard it is to be polite for four days. Normally, if I'm nice for 15 minutes, I come out in a rash. Look, George, I know I wrote a letter to these morons in Luton. Please tell me where it is before I have a crisis. Isn't it in Bedfordshire? <laughs> Second drawer down, in the yellow folder, in the green filing cabinet. Welcome back, Anthea. Take a letter, would you? To the editor of the Concise Oxford Dictionary, Dear Sir, imagine my surprise when my secretary opened a copy of your dictionary only to find that you had misspelled the word professional. I find this lapse astonishing. <laughs> So I looked at him standing there with his scissors and I said, well, if you think that's a haircut, I'm Chris Akabusi. Know what I mean? <laughs> so he says to me, I trained under Vidal Sassoon, actually. So I says to him, I don't care if you trained under a full transit. You're not going anywhere near my fringe again. <laughs> I'm going to take this in there and push it up her bottom. <laughs> no, Gary. It's not for much longer. Think of the free holiday. Let's go. Well, your last meal with us. Won't be the same when you've gone. You mean you'll be glad to be getting rid of us? Oh, oh no, 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 stay. No. I bet you're sick of all of John's stories. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hey, so, remember when we were on the beach and we squirted super glue on Mum and Dad and they had to go to casualty with deck chairs stuck on the backs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> So, do you like working in a hospital, Dorothy? 
Well, yes, I, I expect I... you couldn't get into secretarial work. No, I, I just... Nothing I... against nurses, but they always remind me of nylon uniforms and vomit. Know what I mean? <laughs> Mandy! Mm -hmm. hey, it's really great eating him. That restaurant you recommended was rubbish. Yeah, they told us off for putting sugar in the salt cellars. Really <laughs> petty, don't you think? I'm the manager of that restaurant. Well, I'm not being funny, but you can eat at Burger King for half the price and they give you a free sun visor. <laughs> you try working for them. Don't you think you ought to be going? I mean, we'd hate it if you missed yes, your flight. Oh, John, look at the time. Come on. Well, I can't say it's been a complete pleasure. Really? Why? Well, Tony, your bed is really uncomfortable. Yeah? Well, you want to try sleeping on the sofa well, for four days. Well, it can't be as bad as your bed. Is that all a fancy ah, bed for giving you a <laughs> let's not argue, shall we? I'm sure the beds are really soft in Spain. Oh, no. Didn't I say? You're going to kill me. After we've left, Dad's rented the villa out to someone else, so you can't, like, go. <laughs> and the spinner! Can't don't be sitting on my face. <laughs> you want to swap places? <laughs> I don't know what you're complaining about. I've had my head lodged up Dorothy's bottom for the last ten minutes. <laughs> See? I told you we didn't have to go to Spain to have a good time. Oh, the old plane will just be landing. Oh, well. Can't be helped. You'll go, Dorothy. Sorry. 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 Oh, Gary! 